Does no contact work if you have been blocked? Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about does no contact work if you have been blocked? But before we get into this video, please leave a like on it and please do subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you have anything you'd like me to discuss in a future video, then please leave it down in the comments or if there is any tips or advice that you have yourself so we can all help each other out. Thank you so much. So the first point that I wanna get into is no contact is the only thing that works if you have been dumped or rejected. And this is whether you have been blocked or not. So. Yes, you know, if you have been blocked, then no contact still does work. The reason why no contact is the best method to use um, when you are trying to get an ex back or when you are trying to get unblocked, when you are trying to get someone reattracted to you, is because if you keep on messaging them and you keep on trying to contact them or creating posts about them, um, you know, communicating with them in some kind of way, they are not having that time to miss you. And if someone wants to come back into your life, they need to miss you. And if they're the one that has blocked you, if they're the one that dumped you, if they are the one that rejected you, then they need to come back on their own accord. There's nothing you can literally do to change their mind. The only thing that can change their mind and who can change their mind is themselves. And the only way that you can kind of facilitate that is if you don't contact them. They need to miss you because someone cannot miss you if you are sliding into the DMs, if you are posting about them and they can see that you're posting about them or if you try to contact them on different platforms because this is something that I've seen I've seen some people and when they break up with someone or when they've been rejected and they or they and they get blocked um, they start reaching out to that person on different platforms thinking that that might be a, a new a better technique or a new thing that they should try when in reality if someone isn't talking to you if someone's rejected you you need to leave that person alone because no amount of you calling them up, emailing them, messaging them, posting about them, talking about them, trying to get, you know, adding their friends on social media and talking through their friends to try and get their attention again. All of that is putting you basically in, in an even worse position to get them back. The best position to get them back is to be in no contact. So basically you wanna to get to a place in a, a peace of mind basically in yourself where being blocked by them, uh, being rejected by them, uh, no longer bothers you. You want to be able to get to that kind of headspace. And basically, the, the best method that I have found to be able to get over these kinds of situations is to bring more meaning into your life in other areas. Have other areas of your life that you are focusing on and not just your romantic life. Because if your romantic life is like your whole universe and it's the only thing you think about when you're alone, when you're not at school or when you're not at work, you know, when, when in your free time basically, when you have a few moments to yourself, if you're always thinking about your love life, then of course when someone rejects you, when someone blocks you, um, when someone dumps you, of course you're gonna feel obsessive about it and you're gonna be, get really emotional and sad and feel a lot of pain um, towards um, that part of your life because that's the main part of your life. So you need to have other areas of your life that you are focusing on. You need to have so, uh, some kind of like compelling vision for your life. And you could do this through your career, you could do it through your hobbies, you know, but don't ever do it from your romantic relationships. Don't rely on external people to create your happiness. Happiness is found within, and you can find happiness within in bringing meaning to your life in other areas. So if you have a really meaningful career that really inspires you, that brings you a lot of passion and you feel really ambitious towards it, and you feel like you're doing good for the world and for other people, then you're gonna feel much more happier with your life. You're gonna feel much more on purpose with your life. And when people reject you, when people block you, when people dump you, yeah, sure, it's gonna sting and it's gonna hurt, but you're not gonna become obsessive over it. You're not gonna be that bothered by it. I mean, you'll still be bothered by it. You'll still feel uncomfortable and, you're, uh, and, and a degree of pain but it won't completely consume you. So you need to get to a point where you are creating so much meaning in your life from different areas that you're no longer that bothered about who leaves your life and who comes in because you'll just see it as a natural progress. You know, the people in your life will continue to be in your life and the people that are not meant to be in your life will just fizzle away into the distance, basically, right? So 
that's what you need to get to. You need to under have that understanding, that level of understanding, having real meaning in your life that you can kind of conjure. Because if you're relying, like I said, on external things like people to make you happy, you will always end up miserable because obviously human beings, we are not perfect creatures. So we, there's no way that anyone in the world can make you happy 100% of the time. So you need to find that happiness within. So you seek things that make you personally happy, that can make you feel fulfilled, that you can kind of conjure yourself. So one of those things for me is when I work on my business, like when I make videos like this, um, when I write articles, things like that, um, or when I'm creating some kind of like new um, thing for my business, when I'm, you know, reading things that are really meaningful to me or listening to audiobooks that are really meaningful to me, you know, that's when I, I can, I can create those situations. I'm in control of those situations. I may not be in control of the results 100% of the time, but I am in control of being able to do those actions myself. Like I can do that. So you need to have things that bring meaning that are in your control and not relying on external results and external people to bring you that happiness. And then you won't feel so bad when people block you, when people don't talk to you anymore, when people reject you, when people dump you, because you'll end up just seeing it as their loss. So the next point I wanna get into is kind of what you focus on, you attract, you get more of, so if you are constantly thinking about this crush of yours that, or this ex that blocked you, um, who you're now in no contact with, and if you keep on dwelling in those thoughts, you know, listening to the sad music, um, looking at old photos, you know, things like that, if you're really dwelling in those emotions and in those thoughts, you're just going to create more of those emotions, more of those thoughts. So you need to direct your focus away from them and onto something more meaningful. So let's say, for example, you're, let's say like in your mid twenties and you go to work and on your breaks, what you do is you search them up on social media to see that if they've block, unblocked you or you search um, them on other social media platforms or you look at old photos of them or you listen to music and you know kind of dwell in your thoughts about them. And this is kind of the same thing that happens when you get home after work as well. Now, the reason why you're kind of thinking so much about this person that blocked you and who you're in no contact with is because you are dwelling and focusing on these little actions and habits that you've started. So you need to replace those things with something more empowering. You need to get your mind off of it and not obsessing over this person that blocked you. Now, I'm not saying that you are personally obsessing, but I feel like I have to address this because some people that may come across this video may be in that kind of position. Replace that time that you have, that you spend on thinking about this person, that you spend on, you know, looking them up, you know, doing all these things that you do that in regards to them and replace it with something more empowering, something more meaningful. So it could be, you know, just uh, listening to a podcast during that time or working on a side hustle that you may have, or working on your hobbies. Like for example, you might be someone who's really into design and you, you really love doing like things, anything to do with like designing. So, you know, that's what you should be putting your alone time into. You should be focusing on those things that bring you meaning, that make you feel inspired and on purpose instead of thinking about the things that make you feel sad and the people that make you feel sad because they, you can't control them. Um, so don't rely on those people to bring you happiness. Conjure that happiness yourself by, you know, the things that you can control, like your actions, like, you know, your career, like um, exercise, you know, you can control all of those things. You have it in you to be able to focus on those things. And you also have it in you to stop focusing on them. So now, if you don't mind, I would really like it if you just asked yourself these questions. You may even want to pause the video and write these things down after I ask you each question. So the first question is, is why do I want them back? So why do you want them back? The second question is, is what is actually not good about this person? So write down all of the things that you didn't really like that much about this person. The next question is, is what does your perfect partner look like? So if you could have it any way you want it, what would your perfect partner be like? And think of every single way possible or write down every single way possible um, who this perfect partner would be. If you could have anyone in the world, how would they act? How would they be? How would they be for you in your own perfect world? 
And the last question is, is does this person match the description of your ultimate partner? Now, I'm not gonna put any ideas into your head, just sit with that answer, okay? Just allow to stew over that answer and you should be able to come up with your own conclusion. Um, a great video that I made on uh, how to actually attract the perfect partner into your life. So that ultimate person that you wrote down, um, this will be a great video for you to watch if you actually want to attract that kind of person into your life. Where can you find people that match that description? So that video will really, really help you out. So I highly recommend that you go and watch it. It will be up in the cards. So that's my video on does no contact work if you have been blocked. If you would like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com. On the shop page of that website, you'll be able to find a free PDF download, which is a dating and relationship manual. If you do get that download, then please let me know if there's anything in it that you have any critiques of or anything you feel like I missed out so I can make it the best product possible for those people that want it. Thank you so much for watching and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye, guys.